Hey everybody, welcome back. Marcus Graves back again with another Naruto session. Let's get on into it. I'll say that's uh, pretty handy. Uh, the demon fox, yeah. Now, both their last names are Hyoga. Uh, but maybe they're from a tribe and not necessarily related. Okay, see, that's what I was thinking. Like, they could just be from the clan. Wow. <laughs> Defeating her mentally. <laughs> but Naruto is persistent. Naruto has drive. Naruto can be her heart, her confidence. <laughs> okay, Nata. あの二人の目白眼にはそれが密接ダメージを与える。おお。おお、マイ。思いのままにコントロールできるとされている。Holy shit. Well, he did mention how the Byakugan was superior. She won't waver. Her heart is there, but her heart isn't at the same time. Hmm. Ooh, gotta look like he was kind of wavering for a second. Once again, or just could be excitement. Mmm. Mm. <laughs> All right, Hinata. Because you keep bringing it up, yep. Yeah. That, that bitterness. Now, that's the crazy thing. I'm not sure if they needed all four of them to hold Neji back. Yeah, we'll see. I ain't gonna lie, Neji's dope as a fighter. He's a prick. He definitely... <laughs> Yeah, he's a dick. Um, as I was saying before, and then they started getting more into uh, the story, so I was listening to that. Now, I guess the question was, did, did they really need four of the Jolien to stop Neji? Or was that like all four were like ready to go to stop him, and they all just kind of happened to meet there? Or did they need the four? I, I feel like he wouldn't be that powerful. That they would need all four. It felt like it was just like a coincidence. All four happened to go for him and they went at the same time. It's Gara versus Drok. I can almost guarantee it. He is an inner demon himself. I mean, which may just be like the himself, but like, does he have something like Naruto, where he actually has a beast? <laughs> he was able to sense that he would be the next one. Mm. Nothing's getting past. No physical strike, which means a Genjutsu probably would do something, but Rock is all about Taijutsu. Yeah, he was he was thirsty for blood before, kind of like a shark. 
Mm, I was thinking that. Ooh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh. oh, come on, Lock. Come on, Lock. Holy shit. Oh, oh. Lock is the goat. Did what, did what nobody else has been able to do. Exactly. <laughs> now, I don't know if he's going to win. He won in my book. And this is amazing, but I know it's going to backfire. They've built up Gara too much for him to lose this match. But I do want Rock to win. No, you've excited him. <laughs> yeah, he has to have something. Because it means that Lee is getting close to him, yeah. Mmm. Mmm. And gotta sense the strain. The weak point. Mmm. It was just a husk. That's how it ends. Next one. Mmm. He saw the opening. Of course, my boy Kakashi always on it. Mmm. Mmm. That was some Orochi Maru shit. Mmm. <laughs> so even him doing that, how much pain he's in. Go ahead, man. Respect. <laughs> Respect. Mmm. 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 Mm. Damn. You have a will that he can't match. Mm -hmm. Fighting through it. Ooh. As the series has gone on and we're meeting more of the characters, a consistent theme plays out throughout the series, or at least, up to, at least up to this point. The battle of the naturally gifted shinobi versus the unyielding and driven shinobi. Particularly in these last six episodes, you have Naruto versus Kiba, I believe, right? Hinata versus Neji. And then you have Gara versus Rock Lee. All three of those matches pit, maybe to a lesser degree, Kiba. Um, especially in comparison to Neji and Gara. You pit those who are naturally talented, those who are naturally gifted to the point where they don't even seem to try, against those who are doing everything in their power to just try and succeeding in some way, shape, or form, and in some sense. All of them, Naruto, Hinata, Rock, are handicapped in some way. Hinata is very, is very docile and she's limited by her own timidity. Naruto is limited by his lack of natural skill in accessing his chakra. He can do it, but not to the level of like Sasuke or any of those. So he, he's limited there. He's limited in his, I don't want to necessarily say his knowledge, which he is for, uh, uh, to a degree, seeing as how he can't use too many uh, Genjutsus, he knows his uh, sexy jutsu, <laughs> he knows his shadow clone jutsu, but he pretty much sticks within his realm. So I guess even knowledge, he's limited. Out of all, out of all of the three, Locke is the one who is truly the most handicapped, yet he persists. Hinata was completely outmatched by, by Neji, yet she persists. Naruto, in a lot of ways, is completely outmatched, yet he persists. 
if it didn't always show the failures succeeding, but it shows that even if they don't win, they match. They match their more talented opponents. Doesn't necessarily mean they'll win, but they match them. I'm curious as to this inner demon in Gara. Of course, that now puts him on a uh, uh, on an even playing field with Naruto, with the demon fox spirit, and this sand demon, I'll call him for now. That's a showdown I want to see. Oh, and one more point before I go. The failure's willingness to push themselves eventually gets them into greater power than their counterparts. With Neji, Gata, they are powerful innately. And though they may push themselves, they don't have the will to do whatever it takes to match because there is that obstacle is not in their way. Whereas when you see somebody like Rock, who Guy sensei and Kakashi sensei uh, are kind of examples of this very thing where he says, hey, look, you know, I was once a failure too. Guy sensei is saying this, I was once a failure too, uh, not like the ever, so ever talented, you know, Kakashi. But then you have Kakashi who is completely like, whoa, what the fuck did you teach him? And why did you teach it to him? You know, about the inner gates, the, uh, the eight inner gates and unlocking this hidden power they're not supposed to go to. And guys tells him, he says, because there was no other option. He has this will and he has th this desire to match. Yeah, you may, you may not need to have it. You may not need to use it. But sometimes people like Locke do. They're willing to go higher and further than their more talented counterparts because it's necessary for them to go higher and further. All this talk right now brings this to mind. Or out of Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, and Dragon Ball Super, Dragon Ball has always been my favorite. Yes, as a kid growing up, Dragon Ball Z is the first thing I was introduced to. I wasn't introduced to Dragon Ball until much later, around 12, 13 years old, I would, I, if I remember correctly. But Dragon Ball quickly became my favorite because in Z, though I love Goku, though I love Vegeta, though I love the Super Saiyan transformation, all of these things, I love Teen Gohan. <laughs> Teen Gohan is actually my favorite until they made Gohan into a bitch. Um, but, but though I love all of these things, I love Dragon Ball more. As it pertains to what I was just talking about, about how everybody is matching up. As much as I love the Super Saiyan transformation, Goku, Vegeta, all of them, eventually you started to see the wide gap between Saiyans, sometimes Piccolo, and everybody else. Which sucks because in Dragon Ball, everybody, yes, you had ones that were stronger than others, of course, you're always going to have it, but they were all pretty much matched with each other. It wasn't just about your power level. It's over 9,000! It's not just about your power level. It's not just about your brute strength. That it's also about your skill. It's also about your will. And I did not mean to rhyme there. Don't hate the player. Hate the game. Bars, nigga. <laughs> to, to quote Tyrone Magnus. Uh, <laughs> no, but um, it's not about... It, it, you know, it's about your will. It's, uh, it's about your your uh your effort it's about how far you're willing to go it's about the martial art not just the power level and here in this series you see characters who are taking their disadvantages if not making their disadvantages advantages they are finding ways to circumvent and push past their disadvantage so not only can they get in the ring with their more powerful opponents they have the audacity to compete with their most powerful opponents. Their will leads to skill. Their will leads to adaptation. Their will leads to kicking your ass anyway. Go on head, Naruto. Go on head, Hinata. Go on head, Rock. Let's go. Let's go. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. If you did, please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you're so inclined. Check out my channel for all my other content that I have on there. My short film, Yin and Yang, reactions, breakdowns, all that good stuff that's on there. And I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one.